All right, we should be live now. Cool. Yeah, we are. Cool, cool. All right, so let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty pretty confident that draft would be at three wins if uh, hadn't done three games against Saturn. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad I could uh, glad I could knock him out of his run. <laughs> that was a fun. Uh, Stream last night. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't necessarily go into playing to play Pandora, but it'd been a few weeks and it was fun. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start. Can you see the stream okay? Uh, give me a sec. Well, actually, you can spectate too once we start. Go to I guess. Your... Yeah. I guess we could start with a Pandora run. Sounds good. Oh, actually, I might actually... Oh, I already have two. All right, let's just do this one. I forgot I already started one, just never finished it. Oh, nice. So you're a blue-green. So let's go over the deck list. Imperial Trooper, Seek Shelter, Seedlings, Zoologist. Yeah, there is. Not bad. Two wins, one loss. Nice. All right, so let's go. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fun. I'm at, I'm at two wins, one loss, too, so... <laughs> This is for all the marbles. And I barely play uh, Pandora. Barely play it. It's fun though, but oh wow, look how quick the queue was. Oh, never, never mind, it's 3 1. Oh, you got someone else. Here, maybe I'll hold on to my draft then. Ah. Because you're going to kick this guy's ass. I hope. Okay, so actually, this is a great starting hand. I'm kind of tempted in keeping is, all of it. Yeah. Uh, I'd probably toss one of the troopers. Yeah. Oh, okay, better. We'll get an early game collector. We have uh, an aggressive. Nice. I'm gonna go to the sides though. I'm not gonna go, so I can collect Sferia right away next turn. Okay, so it turns out my run is actually at, at three wins, one loss. Really? Uh, I, yeah, I forgot that both me and Saturn, because he got, we tried to queue into each other for the third time. Huh. And then he got someone else, so then I went and played someone else. And then we came back, and I knocked him out. <laughs> ah. Oh, here we... Ooh, look, we got some... I like that. Give a friendly mini... Oh, that's going to be pretty nice. Yeah. That's a big buff. It's a slow card, though. No, it is. But it could do some work. I kind of want to get the Grove Guardian out sooner than later, though. Yeah, I think we can... You can probably... Unless he gets aggressive here, you can probably wait on the Grove Guardian until it's in the right position. But he... Okay, maybe we are just jamming the Grove Guardian out then. Now, I could even buff it up, too. Do you think or nah? Uh, he can probably wait on it. Yeah. Because he would need, uh... Most green buffs are plus two, plus two, or plus two, plus four, so... He would need, like, three buffs. That's just not going to happen. No, no, not, not in Pandora. You, you, can, you can wait until, you know, you're sure you, what you want the Piper buff on. Kind of sucks that I don't get a trade, though, with one kill. I have to hit into it at least twice. Yeah. But if it doesn't get buffed, your your creatures aren't going to take much damage, so... Is he going to move down, or is he going to move up? I think he's going to move up. Or maybe not. Ooh, it's going to be even... Ah, oh, oh, man, that sucks. Hmm. Oh. He's just blocking you. He's going to try to buy time. So we could go here, so I could trade the 3 4 into the 1 1. Yeah, so you're thinking of building another forest? Yeah. Ooh, maybe blue. Blue. I don't know which one to play. I think I'm going to say... I could. I don't want to really put the trooper down yet because he doesn't get any access to the... 
We're just going to chill. I could put the, the soulbound guy down, but I kind of want him more in an aggressive position. Yeah, I think you can wait here. Yeah. So just as a reminder, you can trigger your uh, Vulpine teleport on his forests. Oh, you're right. You can initiate the teleport through his forest, but you can only warp back to your own. Ah. Uh. But it's still a good thing to keep in mind. Wouldn't it be awesome if I could teleport to his up there? <laughs> yeah. That'd be oh. a little bit strong. Oh, shit. What Voice what? of Truth. Oh, uh, that's pretty GG. That's a, that's a big guy. Yeah. There's no way I could deal with that. Um, is there anything you can get that'd be really good from Expedition? Behemoth. Ooh. A couple interesting options there. S Tree of the Force is too slow. I mean, Tree of Everlife. Yeah. The elemental light's actually interesting. The but problem is it's not going to really... Oh, actually, it could be pretty interesting. Right? Hmm. So you do have... I think Behemoth's... You do, you do have the... Yeah, probably Behemoth's better. Unfortunately, we don't have the land, so... Yeah, you could step up with your Vulpine and then not teleport. Because then what you can do next turn is you can collect off his well and then warp back to your own True. well to double collect. Because I'm assuming he's going to kill your 5-6. Yeah, he has to. Because it's a taunt but, too, so he has no... Ooh, what yeah. about playing down the Soulbind now? Yeah, I like that. We'll put it back here so... Because we, we might be able to... We might be able to orchestrate the uh, the buff landing on the ice rock. We well, should have put this too to give. Uh... Yeah, Voice of hunger. Wow. Yeah, but all my resources are going to go into this one minion. Yeah. It's, I mean, the behemoth will slow it. Hopefully, it just. Hopefully the behemoth just solos it. Solos it, yeah. And I could actually buff it up, too. Not that yeah. it's going to make a difference, but that's seven damage, so it's potential I could get get it going. I'm going to put the behemoth right here. Uh, it's going to block you from collecting there. Which is smart. I'm gonna put something here to block his aggressive lands. Or we could go over here and put an aggressive land up here. What do you think? Ooh, that's actually really good. Unfortunately, I don't have the fairy for it because of this. If I had enough fairy, so, I could put the behemoth down and buff it, but. Yeah, I think you're just. um. Yeah, it's, it's awkward, but I think you're just um, putting the Ice Rock Behemoth right in between the wells. Yeah. So we're going to move this up to... Yeah. We, ought, we have to trade here. So you could... Let's see, so you could move the Vulpine to the left, and then take the trade. And that's good, because the next turn you have you can choose to walk into one of those forests... Do you want me to put a force in an aggressive position? Let's see. Yeah, might as well, right? Yeah, so we that's actually... good. So we, we block him from double collecting, and then um, we can probably get the soul bounds Sagami buff to hit it next turn. Yep. And unfortunately, there's no way we could protect the behemoth even with buffs to kill. Yeah. No, we're just hoping it um, 
trades over two turns. I just hope he has no way of getting rid of the shield, because if he gets the rid of the shield... Mono green, it should be hard for it to have a clean answer. He could have uh, deep wood stalker. Protection. Yeah, that's that's about the only answer. Ooh. It had to be like a falcon dive or something otherwise. He's not going to attack in, maybe. Well, he's targeting it, so maybe he has an answer. Oh. Nice, Grace. We could do... Hmm. We... Oh, man. We could buff one of these to kill it so we could keep the divine shield. What do you think? We might have to... We might have to double trade into the, the willow so that we can then... Uh, Guarantee the buff on the the ice rock behemoth. That's true. But I'm curious to see if he plays anything else with this area. No. Oh, that's actually really good too. That's okay, so nice we're gonna have to double. T First things, we're oh, we can't collect either. Fuck. Yeah. All right. So we're probably we're probably plus one in this turn. I think we're um. So we probably trade the Vulpine and then the Sagami, right? Yeah, we have to because I want to keep the Behemoth. To, to guarantee the, yeah, yeah, to guarantee the buff on the Behemoth. Oh. Yeah, that was the wrong order. What was it? Because I was Oh, yeah, you're right. Guaranteeing the buff on the Ice Rock Behemoth. Damn it, you're right. I could buff this up to okay. so kill could, it. Yeah, we could buff the... We could use the Piper... Well, hold on one um, second here. We get the Piper to get the buff on that. Yeah, and now we can take the trade. And then, how do we want to play this Octopus? I think uh, aggressive. So, are you thinking a 5-5 five five or a 7-3 up top? Would he be able to deal with a 7-3? I don't think so. We're going to put Probably up here. Green. I think we're yeah, going to do... I think a 7-3 seems Yeah. Good. Yeah, that order I mean, was his, bad. His, I forgot his, about it that it that it, I should have yeah. checked in with a dude. Yeah, that was a misplay. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Show you off. Trading, to, trading, to, trading two minions was going to be awkward no matter what. But, but yeah, we could have guaranteed the buff uh, on the protection. I just hope we don't get punished by getting rid of the shield. Well, we do have an answer for the, his 2017, yeah. so that's good. And he's not going to trade into it, you can tell. So seek shelter. Could be pretty strong here. And why did I think that that card buffed... I thought it buffed... Oh, see, it's, I thought its last words was actually buff something in your hand. <laughs> You're thinking of, um, Priest of Everlife. Oh, uh, shit. This is bad. What we could do... We can we can get the value trade on that with Elderwood if we want. Ooh. Okay. Mm. It's getting complicated. See, the problem is we have no way of getting rid of that 2017 now. Yeah. Okay. We could go up here and trade and use the Behemoth's shield on it, but... I think we're being greedy. We're, we keep trying to protect this shield, but... Or I could take these two into it. It's that That's a possibility. No matter what, the buff's not going to keep it alive. So, okay. We could we can move we could move our piper up just to take out the one one. Yeah. And then move our ice rock up. And then our ice rock uh helps us get a, a better trade. And then we'll use this and, then, and probably the vulpines hitting it, right? We could, we could go face. Hmm. Or collect. 
I think I like collecting because it gives us the option um, to kill the Voice of Hunger Orgo face next turn. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, Fugu's not too far off. And we're gonna do... Probably get the Elderwood Hermit out there. On who, the Behemoth? Or... Well, well, well I mean the the Hermit, right? Um, oh, I could've got it for double collection, but I kinda wanna get the value from it. Yeah. Ooh, that's actually good. Especially with, uh... The buff, we might be able to go face and start pressuring. Yeah. Because that 2017 is not going to be near my orb anytime soon, but you gotta, I kind of have to be careful, though. Yeah, I should have maybe this put... Kind of, yeah, it's kind of rough that Pandora opens for him first. He has to get hit into the behemoth. Yeah. A lot of board tension here. He also can't ignore that 7-3 for too long either. Wow, Leaping Fugu must be the cutest art in Faria. It is. We're not that far from Eight Lands, by the way. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, well, that's just yeah. GG. The only way we could win is start blocking and just... Putting wow, pressure in face. Wait, he didn't kill the. That's insane that he didn't kill the octopus. Oh, he has. A, oh, he has a. He has an answer for it. Um, well, I think we just need to put as much pressure as we can. At block. All right. So, so what we do can, we? What do we do we here? Can technically, we can technically still go face because we can um, teleport. Our oh yeah, you're right. On, onto our forest, and then we can still get an aggressive land. So that's that's probably the play, right? We just ignore his uh, his big minion. Uh, I also think we go and up we here to the left, and we can play either the crystal dragon or the fugu. We could. Act, I kind of want to buff the dragon. What do you think? Or no? Let's see what we get out of here, too. Uh, yeah. Let's Ooh. check what's in the box. Uh, what's better here? I don't think we need Faria, but it has more health, though. Let's see. Um, is the dash relevant right now? Not really. I think Queensguard. Okay. Because it has more health, even though this Wild Avenger could be potentially good. Yeah, let's go for the Wild let's, Avenger. Okay, let's um, let's build our aggressive land on the left hand side. And play something there. And attack. Okay. And we're gonna do. Let's just get everything on board as much as possible. Okay. Because we the only way we're gonna win is go face. Uh, yeah. The five six down there is actually probably a misplay, but I was on the timer. He's probably going to trade into it. I'm assuming. We'll try to get the corrupt effect if we can. He's really trading into that. Why would he not take the five six out? Guess he really wants to stay in collection. I say next turn we buff up the the crystal dragon. Ooh, Death Tusk is pretty good. Why would he put it there so I could f kill it for free, though? Yeah. He's figuring... Well, he knows I'm not going to trade the 6-6 six, six into it. Oh. Grizzly, we're ignoring that. Okay, so we have uh, 10... 12 damage. We um, just go face. Buff and go face. Let's, let's and we could put an octopus taunt to prevent the 3-4 from doing anything shenanigans. Yeah. 
All right, so we're not going to get the let's, let's 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 draw a card to see if we get a buff and just win immediately. I don't know if I have any buffs. Oh no. Okay, another. I think I only card. had this as a buff. I could be wrong. So I'm going to buff up the dragon, and I'm going to put the uh, octopus down as a taunt. So the death. So, what do you think about um, moving the fugu up to the well to collect, and then we can kill the assassin? So it doesn't kill something bigger next turn. That's true. We could do that. And All right. then dragon moves up, right? That goes there. This goes up here. We are going to buff it. Yeah, and then because he has lethal, I have lethal neck. Well, I have. What about this putting down? Um, it is a little more. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's a little more taunt than the Grove Guardian. Okay. And we can. Dash it onto the green. Okay. Well, no, it's well now it's not taunting anything. That's true, but there's nothing. I don't think that he could summon aggressive, can he? Because he has to stop two minions from hitting face next turn. Yeah. Well, I was just thinking about locking down the bear. Oh, um, you're right. I didn't even think about the bear. But even then, there's no way he's gonna be able to buff it to kill both. Yeah. The problem is there's a, a mind control treasure. Oh, I didn't think of that. So if he had that plus a buff, he would be able to mind control the dragon and then kill the trooper. Well, cool. Oh, I did have okay, another buff. All right. We got lucky. Yeah, you're right. I should have kept it down there. Uh, that guy seemed bad. Enough. Well, I did play kind of sloppy <laughs> myself, but... Yeah, he seemed like he, he panicked when we just, like... I'm just surprised we were able to keep... <laughs> I kind of think he got greedy protecting his 2017 or whatever it was. Yeah. He should have gotten rid of the behemoth. I think he thought he was just going to sit in double collection forever. Um, oh. And, yeah, he, he didn't. He wasn't thinking that we were just going to ignore it. <laughs> nice. Not too bad. Well, right, let's go over the deck. How many but, oh, we do got two Elder Wooden Braces, so that top deck could have been lethal. We have the. We don't have any other. Not bad. Let's see what our blue cards are. Ooh, I like this card. I don't know why it doesn't see much play, but I think it's a great card. Mm, which one? This quarrel. Oh, Poliwag, yeah. Poliwag, I think it's good. Hey, would this Crystal Dragon, if it was a normal card, be OP? Oh, hell yeah, it would be. Yeah. It would literally be in every deck. Yeah, Crystal Dragon. I like I like Bloodstone Golem too. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's pretty good too. Let's, let's you starve people out. Do yeah, you like? Do you like the? Do you like? Wait. I guess. Do you like the treasures? Some people don't. Um, those specific treasures, or or do you mean in general? In general. Oh yeah. Um. That's why I was uh, memeing around a lot last night in the call about, like, oh, we kill them before Pandora opens. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not a big fan of uh, being ahead and then they uh, pull out a, a treasure and yeah. swing the board back. Because, like, uh, regular fairy is, like, it's all, like, it's gaining small edges, you know, here and there, you know, until the game eventually comes to like a reasonable conclusion <laughs> no you're right but uh pandora's got a lot more swing to it i guess because they don't want pandora to last forever yeah well that's why i would I, I think i wouldn't mind the treasures too much if um if there wasn't the increased feria each turn ah, i see because then it would be like if you were you know knocking on their door you know beating them up you know, and they had no control of the wells, you know. The treasures wouldn't change anything at that point, right? Nope, you're right. Because so many of them are six, eight, nine mana, and, you know. So, yeah, I just kind of, I, I wish, like, the lead up to Pandora opening mattered, like, a little bit more. <laughs> All right, so here we obviously going to keep the seedling. Yeah, I think I like octopus too. All right. 
God, that t oh, look at Raccoon, not bad. Nice. All right, we're gonna do almost oh, this one. Let me see. Yeah, early seedlings, real nice. Oh, aggressive. Wonder if he was already planning on going face, or if he's going face because he saw the seed line. <laughs> Questions. We're gonna definitely put the That's beast down. We need, bear. Yeah, we definitely need to get him down. That'll t contest most of the stuff he's gonna play, I think. The seed line has some awesome art, though. Ooh, it red. Does. What are the effing chances, dude? We're gonna that do not getting wow. Just all right. So what we need to, to do die. is kill that. So we're gonna do blue and right in front of our orb. I I wouldn't. Um. It's it's one of those situations where you'd be building a a land for your opponent. You actually kind of want him to build that land because that means he can't play less. He can play less threats. All right. So what we'll do is right here. So I think you'd build a lake. Like going up, right? Yeah. We have to trade. Yeah. And what are they gonna do, Imperial Trooper? Um. Hmm. Trooper or Octopus? Octopus with jump would be kind of nice. Or Taunt. I think you can probably get away without Taunt, just take better stats, right? So maybe you're going 5-5 five, five, five. Five or 3-7. Th Either Ooh. one seems good. 3-7 would be kind of... Actually, I like the idea of 3-7. Because then it's bulkier and it could yeah. absorb more. Ooh, wow, why would he go up there? That's kind of weird. He wants to go for your well now. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I say we do okay, another... Let's... Yeah, let's get another um, lake out and, and see what expedition. I'm gonna take this favorable trade here. Yeah, let's discover first, though. Oh really? Whoops. All right, so let uh, me. It's just it's just good form, you know. Let's do blue right here. I don't yeah, want to like that. I like yeah, I like to the right, so he can't get uh, an axe grinder. Exactly, and then we're gonna discover. Oh, these are all. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's an enemy you're, creature. You're already winning the board, so Lonnie is probably not going to be good. But Rain of Fish isn't going to do much, but it could potentially. But this other one I don't Phant like. Phant the Phantasm is like not good. No, I guess Rain um, of Fish. I think you might just take Ulani, just because even if its effect doesn't trigger, it's just a two-four. We're going to trade here. Yeah. We can move this up now to hopefully and, get. The yeah, let's um probably move the seedling up and. I say trooper. You want it, you want to play the trooper? Yeah, because it's a good statted okay. minion. We'll do this and hopefully get one of his one of his uh lands. I like this. Got a Ooh, he's water. going very aggressive here. He shouldn't be bit, he shouldn't be building so many mountains. Yeah, I know. And That's we're gonna like what I was talking about earlier, like when you force your opponent to build land, um, they're playing less cards. Oh yeah, you're right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here. Now we could do a couple things. We could put a a a uh, forest right here above his his uh, blood singer, and I'll trade in with a imperial trooper because I'll gain this thing uh, this land. So yeah, so I'm. I'm Okay, so which which land do you, are you thinking you want to take? Well, I don't want this to stay, so I'm going to trade with a 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so you're going to steal the land right in front of you? Yeah, okay. got, otherwise it's going to get value, and I don't want him to potentially collect. The 3-2 doesn't do anything to it. Okay. All right, so what we're going to do is this. Go here. Go here. I kind of want to move this up to block. And then we could put the water elemental down on this side. 
and then put an aggressive land up here. Yeah, so... Okay, yeah, yeah, I like I like moving the, the seedling up. Yeah, because it's not going to die, most likely. Water Elemental, probably... I think with Water Elemental, you take... Um, you take the lake over by your left hand well, just so we can't have the axe grinder spot. There you go. There we go. We got bored. He doesn't have Feria. I'm pretty confident we're going to win this. And this jumper could double collect. We could double neutral up here. This okay. goes here to block. Why is he still building mountains? The madman. He I needs know. to play cards. Uh, do you, what about <laughs> double neutral here? Uh, to double collect with the water alley? Yeah. And he could get up into an aggressive position. Uh, what if we... What if we neutral right above the 4-5 and then do the other one by the well? And then we can still jump to collect, but then we're also getting aggressive with the seedling. Oh, that's true. Like this. Yeah. So those are both in... Um, are both getting kind of aggressive. Exactly. And, and then, then our, uh, our trooper can just march back and then he can't summon anything right by our face or at the well. And I want to put the seedling. Do I block or do I progress up? I think. I think start going up. I think. I think I'd go up onto that neutral, because you can still walk back and and cover, um, if he summons something on those mountains. You're right. Ooh, we uh, the leapy. Uh, or what about craft thorn? Probably craft thorn's probably GG if you land it. Yeah. You've already got the lands for it. And I'm not gonna play anything else. Well, this is going well. Yeah. Why is he making so many mountains? Maybe he has... Oh, uh, I'm just... No, he's just... He's bad. It's um, it's Ooh. a common mistake you see. Um, people think land is the end-all, be-all. All right, so we could put him over here, and we could put, summon the Crackthorn up here. Let's see. I'm probably going to lose this sapling. I'm hoping it gets buffs. Okay, so we've got all the land we need, so we're probably playing the Crackthorn on a neutral, right? Uh, right here. So maybe the seedling marches up, and then we double neutral, and we... Um, do we want a neutral to the well or to his face? Probably to the well, right? So we double neutral over. Now we've got two sides. I could put the uh, Crackthorn right here. This other well. Yeah, so we can we can crack Thorn right at the well, and then let's see where the buffs go. Ooh. So okay, nice. close. What we could do is keep the crack Thorn there, cancel its dash, do a favorable yeah. trade. And yeah, then... I think we trade with the seedling and the uh, water goes face. Yeah. And then our zoologist marches up too, right? We're going to do this. Okay. There we go. Yeah, let's hold that in our back pocket. Uh, yeah, this guy does not know what he's doing. Oh, that's um, not going to... He's building way too many mounts. I mean, that's not too... All right, so let's see here. This, he gets buffed. I kind of want to keep this alive, so though. So, Pipe Piper can get the value trade on that. Yes, it can. get to still go face with two RM minions. Yeah, you're right. So I take this and I buff it up, kill this, and then the other two go face. Yeah, I like Perfect. That. This is going to block. These two are just going to chill. Let's put the piper down here, I guess. We don't really need to build anything up there anymore, do we? No, not really. And just... Um something to always keep in mind when you're winning at this stage of the game in Pandora you don't you you don't want to draw a card unless you like need to right ah. because then Pandora opens on their turn sometimes and then you know they get a chance to swing it back I'm not gonna play anything else yeah just plus one I guess okay nice this went pretty well actually well wow, he's still building lands dude yeah. 
Imagine if four or five of these mountains had been plus one Faria. He'd have plus one. Threats on the board. Plus one, or maybe draw, because he doesn't have that many resources. Yeah. Hey, two wins in a row. This run's going well, dude. Yeah, thanks for the pointers, too, man. It's helpful. Yeah, totally. And then some of these, what we'll do is a different type of stream in the future where I watch you. And uh, I think people enjoy that. Yeah, sure. Four, one, four, one, so four. What's the maximum wins? Five? Uh, it ends at six wins or two losses. Ah. So you're at, what's your score right now? Four, one. Nice. So no matter what, it's a successful run. Yeah. I think uh, if I recall the breakdown, you get your gold back, like exactly, with one win. Oh, nice. So, the only time you ever lose out for playing Pandora is if you go zero wins. Not bad. So yeah, you'll make your you'll make your gold back a couple times. Did you see Saturn had Duke and? Lizard as guest today? No, I didn't. Um, I actually, <laughs> I saw he was. I saw he was uh, was streaming, and I I made a mental note of I'm gonna tune into that in 30 minutes. And then when I came back, <laughs> he was offline. I, was like, uh, <laughs> I think he's actually playing. Uh, he's online right now, but I don't think he's playing. Yeah, he's been online for a long time, he so just, I don't think he's, he's just. Uh, I think he's just AFK or something. There's Hunter. Yeah, Summer's on too. Oh yeah, you add Summer's a friend. Pig, I got a Star Pig on too. He's a nice guy too. Hey, what was I here chatting that the that guy is actually Bobbin, or was that just rumor or what? That you heard his um, voice today? I, I didn't hear anything about oh. that. Yeah, everyone thinks it's Bobbin. Let's see. I think I'll I think I'll give the queue a few minutes, and then uh, if you don't have someone, I'll jump in. Oh, cool, cool. And and smite you. <laughs> oh, then yeah. Oh, the queue's been pretty decent tonight. Yeah, hey, there's so. another Xbox, a brand new Xbox player. He's streaming, but they only stream the solo content. <laughs> yeah, it's um lack of confidence. I hope a lot of those people stay. It's a free game, so a lot of people try it. And if they if they're, if they're not really into card games, they just stop it. Because there was a like I said yesterday, yeah. there's a bunch of new streamers, but they kind of come and go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the thing. We gotta we gotta be a very active community uh, with the people that we have, so that when those people show up, they they might decide, you know, hey, this seems like a nice place. Yep. And I hope that uh, maybe we'd use, like I said yesterday, some player tournaments. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be cool, yeah. Yeah, um, when when Hearthstone was first out, um, ran a couple tournaments with uh, with my buddies. How'd it go? Just like, just like small stuff, not like open to the public. Just, you know, get like six seven eight guys together each chip each chip in like five bucks oh, that's awesome everyone brought zoo <laughs> zoo man zoo will that's never die was back then yeah so oh, i, think I was i remember i was super frustrated because uh i thought like the coolest minion back then was uh was void terror in zoo <laughs> and uh but my buddy blew me out in the finals with uh <laughs> with big game hunter back when it was three mana you know you could also do other stuff too you could do like basic only tournaments basic decks only so the true person with the true skill could win uh maybe lock out certain expansions like uh only well people have to have a good collection but you could do like only a n classic basic and gnomes versus goblin decks so, yeah. or uh old Wrath of the Old God decks. So it'd be kind of interesting to see. They're, like I said, if they had a tournament, 
mode, you could do shit like this. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen um, like privately uh, run tournaments from like Red Bull and stuff that um, that do kind of special rule sets like that, um, like different draft events and stuff. Um, or like, um, I'm trying to remember who was running it, but there was a cool tournament a while back um, that was a, a wild tournament, right? Where it was called something like the History of Hearthstone. Oh. And they, and they basically went like set by set of like, okay, like right now you're doing classic only. And like, then the next stage of the tournament a week later was like, now you're doing classic with Nax Ramus and GBG. <laughs> and it kept progressing along like that. Um until there was like you know more and more cards in the card pool until finally the final week was just all of wild ah oh, that's so cool so it was kind of like uh it was interesting because at first it was like all of the sets before um the rotation happened right so it was kind of just like uh these these were the decks people used to play with some tweaks right oh, but then after good. that after that after they got to the sets that came after the initial rotation now it was like we're at uncharted territory right <laughs> that's cool then history of hearthstone man was never its own thing yeah actually probably gonna do ladder and hearthstone probably tomorrow because i need to i want i added i did it my i took the highlander package out of my quester and it's basically exactly identical to the best winning rate on so i try to tell you matt i wish there was more options for deck building because you build it, it end up being like I came up with Theory Crash Requester Rid, and like when the expansion first went run, it was pretty much identical to what some of the. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's you! Yeah. It can be tough. Yeah, like I said, I'd wait a few minutes uh -uh. and uh, jump in if you didn't get a match. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, my opponent of the last game was very greedy. Why is it yeah. you can't emote when it's not your turn yet? Um, I don't know. Just something they've coded, I guess. Damn, a Cohen deck. Yep. Ancient Herald, okay. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's a nice card. I don't know how much value you can get out of it, but it's potential. Oh, shoot. Oh, not to the left. It's supposed to go to the right. Come on. <laughs> That's a bulky creature, though. Actually, that tree looks cool with the orb. Yeah, right? Evil Atmos. <laughs> Come to destroy us all. I still think Underground Boss is one of the best avatars. It's supposed to be a rat, right? They're, uh, they're kobolds. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's, uh... It's the same underground boss, Cobalt Warlord. Yeah, they're all like, uh, I mean, 
depends on what kind of mythology you're talking about, right? But kobolds are, you know, sometimes they're people, sometimes they're rats, you know. Kind of depends. In Hearthstone, they're wrinkly people obsessed with candles. <laughs> Interesting here. Trying to see what one is better. We're going to... Wild Adventure. Okay. I know that's not the best play, but I kind of want to prevent you from building aggressive land. Oh, it doesn't matter. That was wasted. I should have gone here. Or saved it. <clears throat> Getting close to the last nightmare. Choices, choices, choices. Do you play Pandora a lot? I want, I want to start getting the card back. I don't know how many wins I need though. Um, some t some months I play it a lot. Like Damn, two or that's... three months, two or three months ago, I decided I was gonna play enough to get the card back. You got that from the man. I stole it. That's so bad for you. I mean, for me, I mean, because I can't. Yeah. All right, let's try to see what we get. I'm gonna have to take that trade, unfortunately. Yeah, I kind of forced you to with the 1 1 body blocking. Grove Guardian. Okay. Hopefully you don't have Last Nightmare to kill my little seedling. Of course, Yellow could have access to other events that could kill it too, though. Yep. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Those forests are all over the place. I'm supposed to go to face. Come on. <laughs> so you get all these bulky creatures I can't good good trades with. Hmm. I imagine if someone played lands like that in normal ladder. Yeah, right. Well, it'd be that last guy. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. I think we're chilling there. Unfortunately, I hate to do it, but I had to draw because I want to see if I could get. No, I don't. I was hoping I could get. Uh... Well, we're going to have to take this trade here, I guess. We got some respectating. Unfortunately, you get to deal with the sapling, but...
Oh wow. Man, that's such a. <sighs> it's it's funny. Summer Summer started spectating me, and he saw it was Pandora, and immediately left. <laughs> really? Yeah. I guess he's not a fan. God, I hate trading into that though. Oh shoot! Uh, I thought it was hand too. Damn it! Yeah, you're thinking of priest of everyone. Oh, God dang it! Cause now you can test everything on my board. Damn, I forget because I don't even see these cards that often. I forget what they do. Give last. Damn it! Otherwise, I wouldn't have traded. It doesn't matter. You would have been able to done it anyway. I would have been. Able, I would have moved this down. Oh, no way! If I moved it down, you wouldn't have been in reach. So. That was a misplay. It probably cost me the game. Read the cards better. Hey, Mr. Music. What's up? Ooh, man, see? So good. So we're gonna do, and there goes my lead. That way you cannot kill my little dude. Five three. Okay. I know it's a sacrifice, but I really need to protect the six six and start being aggressive. But then you probably got some answers to it. Well, actually, you would have had to trade into the three two, but you might be able to kill the three two for free with some event. No, I wasn't planning on builders until Monday. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, that was a risk. I didn't. How am I going to play against Yak Attack? Or play around Yak Attack? And I think that's pretty much GG. I don't have any way to get back in this game. Um, that's the hope. <laughs> Four. We're gonna have to do this. Ooh, yikes. No, Mr. Me tomorrow is no builders. Builders would be on Monday. Actually, I kind of have to finish. I want to start playing Dragon Quest Builders a little bit more often because I want to finish it. Whoa, that's a about big twenty-one. Boy. Twenty-one hours in, it's about a fifty to sixty-hour game. It's a long, big, long game. Yeah. Man, I see Rowan's presence is so OP. 
Well, tomorrow's a uh, Sunday for me. Yeah, that's pretty GG. It is Saturday night, so tomorrow is Sunday. Shit, if I'd known that, I should have played the Raccoon Gift. So, yeah, but you have bored, man. Uh, no, that's useless. We don't have enough uh, feria. Yeah, I'm pretty much done. I mean, yeah, your threats aren't huge on the board, but. So that means when I stream Builders on Monday, it will be Tuesday for you? Yeah, he's 10 hours ahead. Damn. You were able to contain my board so well, man. Yeah, that's GG. <laughs> yeah. That is GG. There's no way I can win unless I get some kind of... Well, I could taunt up, but that's it's just yeah, it's not good enough. All right, let's. You could keep killing uh, Ariana <laughs> over and over again. <laughs> Give me more and more treasures. <laughs> yeah, but I can't win the race because as soon as you attack, that doubles, right? Uh, it, it doubles when it takes damage. Oh. Well, then let's race it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to win. But even then, you still have... Look all this damage you have at my orb. Yeah. It's more than what I have. Ah, oh, yeah, it's GG. Good game. GG. Yeah, no way I can win now. Even then, it still would have been kind of risky. That, yeah, that's 712. That's why I don't like Ruin's Presence, man. Well, I get 15 points, not too bad. Nice. Alright, so we could do... Yeah, 3,600 gold, so you got your, uh, got your gold back and 50% profit. There we go, let's do another... Nice. We're going to do multiplayer. Let's do a draft real quick. Alright, so I'm not sure if you see what I see yet. Yeah, I do. With slight delay, but yeah. I see Ogre. Yeah, Ogre's pretty good. Alright, I'll give you a few seconds here. Uh, off the top of my ha head, I would say the Brute. Soul Drain's really nice, too. Yeah, that's true. You don't get offered a lot of events in Pandora, so when you do, I like to take them. So yeah, you, you got two in here, too. That's kind of nice. I, I think Soul Drain's decent. Yeah, Soul Drain's better than Hold the Line. So that over the Brute? I think so. Whew, look at this. Uh, Airbot's an excellent collector. Yeah, really good, and we're already looking to go red-yellow. We don't want to go three-color. No. Or... I like see maybe if we Maybe if we saw, like, one card that was insane and it only had one green. <laughs> but yeah, let's go Airbot. Spirit Theft's also nice, but Airbot's just premium. What about... Um, these are all pretty decent. Hate seed's good, but that requires a pretty specific. Mode. Yeah. Hmm. What about death touch for removal? No. Yeah. Queen Queen's assassin, demon wing, and death wish ghoul are all pretty good. It's either that or flying demon wing. Hmm. 
think I like Demon Wing a little bit better. Yeah, I agree. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, I love Imperial Drake Rider. Yeah, Keldron Adventure is really good too. Which one would you pick? Probably Drake Rider. I agree. Okay. Ooh, look at here. What do we have here? We're definitely not going green. So we have Elder Village, which is card draw, Queen's Assassin, Walking Fortress, mm, or the Drake. I like Dune Drake. Ooh. What about oh, Rakoan's a an early game collector. Soul Drain's nice though. So is Demon Wing. Uh, I'd probably go Soul Drain again. Like, when you've got a Fires deck like this, just being able to throw out removal to clear your opponent's collector while you go off to the other side and collect for free is just. Yeah, it's really GG. Life Fist is too situational. Nope. Yeah, Lionfish is alright if you're going yellow green because you can use, like, Tower to buff it or whatever. Yeah. It's, uh, it's... The Vulture, I think, is the it's best. It's too good if you don't have the support. Uh, let's see, N so we have... Yeah, but that's four yellows. That's too we deep. Have three, we have three flyers already. We could maybe take Emissary. Yeah, that's better, because four is too much. All right. King's Guard's good. Court Jester's decent. And Volley yeah. might be okay. Yeah, we can't depend on getting enough... Carassius for it to be good. <laughs> so, between those top three, I'd say probably Kingsguard. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Lord of the Waste isn't bad. Lord of the Waste, I think, is probably better. Yeah. Ooh. What are we going to get here? Okay. So, um, I think I was talking with Saturn about this last night, but I think Ulani's medallion is is too uh, too win more for for Pandora. Like, even did, were you watching that game when it was a really close game? And my opponent played Ulani's medallion, and I still beat him. Yeah. Because because I played Magic Carpet and I just moved all of his minions and killed him. I kind of like the lamp. <laughs> but then the friendly creatures yeah. plus one and jump is flying could be kind of good. I think the value from lamp is, is what you're looking for. Oh, here we go. Wow, getting so much yellow. What about Lost Explorer? Uh, Barter is insane. I will get that. Barter is like absolutely insane. What about another emissary? So, are we taking second emissary or, or third soul drain? Probably second emissary. So, we can have that kind of like critical mass of flyers, right? Exactly. Ooh, here's some interesting choices. Axe Grinder's good. Axe Grinder's good. Death Walker's good. Mistral Guide is, is good. Hmm, interesting. I kind of want to go Axe Grinder because we need more red. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good enough reason. Ooh, Sol no, Salamander's green, too bad. Um, Card draw, but... Um, that might be good. Let's see, so we have... One but then another airbot would be kind of nice, though. Yeah. Turn turn two airbots is insane to be able to immediately move into double collection. Yeah, so I think we should take airbot. I, think I value that a lot. Yeah. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, we have ritualist. We have ooh, that's two situation. That's got a good finisher, but what about the venturer? Yeah, I think adventure is really good. The dash gets you aggressive lands in the late game. 
and uh, the treasures can add up. Let's see. Um, our deck is too low curving for Ogre Dance, right? Yeah. So, are we taking Lord of the Wastes? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Ooh, yeah, Roby, yeah, could be decent. Oh, but it's situation, but it's still. Uh, too too bad it's uh, too bad the explorer is the red green and not the uh, not the yellow red. What about the tower? Uh, nah. We could do grappling hook. Grappling hook's not bad either. I see warlord off the bat. Yeah. Get a couple big guys. What about the hippo? So we have, um, let's see, one, two. So the barter's two events. So there's grappling hook, then barter's three, double soul drains, five. Uh, it's still kind of on the low side to be taking Colossus. Yep. It's more of a build around. Maybe we're just taking hippo. Ooh, these are interesting choices. Flame Burst is so Ooh, good. Flame Burst, Flame Burst, Flame Burst. Flame burst. <laughs> yeah, Flame Burst is just too good. Yeah. Well, here we go. Choose a friendly creature and I... Ooh, okay, Medallion. Now, what about the Earth Shaker? Earth Fire? Yeah, I think I think Shaker's insane. Because think about it. If you're if you're already winning, then you don't need the Earth Shire, Fire Shaker. Yep. <laughs> you're right. But Ooh. if you're losing, then you use it and you... Hey, Mr. Music, you still Hello. there? Or did he leave? He tends to leave. He likes certain games he doesn't like. I don't think he likes card games. Yeah. Uh, wow. Firebomb's okay. good. Yeah, this is probably a firebomb. Ooh. Another airbot? It is nice. Yak attack's good too, but the problem is it's looks. Well, if, if we if we take the third air bot, then we're just playing. Um, then we're, then we're just playing constructed. That seems good. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll take it. We we'll get that consistency. We'll just always have it in our opening hand. Oh, here we go. Um, Wind soldier is really good. Wind Shoulder, yeah, he is good. Wind, wind Soldier is a flame burst that collects off the well. <laughs> so true. Okay, here. Ooh, what about the Flubber? Let's see. Fodder, Shade and Pest. Oh, Flubber, I mean Fodder. Doom Drake. Yeah, I think I like Fodder. Ooh, third third soul drain or not? Wait, maybe we could have picked that colossus. I know, but who? Because we're getting a lot of <laughs> events. Another soul drain? Drain? I'm between that and uh, and red devil, but it's probably probably because we're we we've got so many flyers. Uh, we probably won't need the red devil because we'll already be double or triple collecting. Exactly. Ooh, so we're probably soul drain. The chopper actually can Ooh, be really yeah, good. Yeah, copter, copter for sure. That's insane. Ooh, with the grappling hook, the twelve three could be GG, but probably too specific. Yeah, it, another right? Schultz. Probably another soldier. Right? Yeah. I always thought it was weird that Wind Soldiers uh, doesn't have doesn't have flying. Like obviously it'd be too broken, but just name wise. Exactly. I don't like giving my opponent cards, so. I think the Beast Trainer's okay. Oh, but the Beast Trainer's so bad stats for the Ferrier cost. Do we, have, do we have any beasts? We have the Hippo and... That's it. Else. Yeah. So we'll just um, take the Explorer? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Oh, Scourge Fang could be GG. Oh, yeah, that's wow. I mean, look at our wow. We're just we're just playing constructed now. We got our triple airbot. We got 
Got a bunch of flyers. We got a scourge flame. Easy. I think another warlord's good. Warlord's good, but barter is insane too. The only thing is, it's kind of situational now. It might be good actually. Bar barter's barter's nice because, like, um, remember in um, in your game against me, I used it to uh, to take one of your buffs. You get to you, you get to steal your opponent's buffs or removal, and and surprise them. That's true. Barter it's like then. Your, your, it's like your X factor. Yeah. Seems pretty good. Okay. Hmm. I've never been blown away by theory and globe. Uh, what about key to the elements? Key of the elements. Uh, choose a color, discover a creature the same color, comes wild, costs three less. Uh, what are our other treasures right now? Oh, let's look. Oh, the lamp? It's lamp and earth fire shaker, right? Yeah. So with lamp, we've got value, earth fire shakers, removal. Um, in my experience, sphere the guardian is really hard to deal with. Okay. Because you can you can dash it wherever you want, basically, and they can't target it. Let's hope we get our airbots. We have three of them, so there's a good chance it could come in the mulligan. Yeah. I think same thing as before. I'll, I'll give it a few minutes, and if you All don't right. get a match, I'll, I'll jump in. Yeah, that's a pretty good draft you've got there. I think it's good. It's almost constructed. Yeah. Yeah, the only regret is, you know, we didn't take the Colossus because we didn't think you were going to get offered any more events. <laughs> <laughs> only other thing that would be nice with this would be having a Last Nightmare or two. Oh, that would be awesome. Because my experience, people do like green in, uh, in Pandora because... Not as much removal going around, so your your big green creatures can stick more often. That's true. I hear yellow's the worst color in Pandora. Um, I don't know about that. I'm not sure. Give it a little bit more time. Yeah. Yeah, your your decks got actual synergy, which is uh, more than what a lot of Pandora decks can, can yep. hope for. It's almost constructed. <laughs> Hopefully, barter gives us value, but there's no guarantee they're going to have events. Yep. People usually have a few, um, and they'll usually be of reasonably high quality, right? That's true. Cause you know you know for example that if someone's playing green, they'll have definitely picked an Elderwood embrace if it was offered to them. Yep. So oh, you, can pretty reliably, too good. you can pretty reliably at that point then play part. You know, oh look we have a giraffe snatch lover. A buff. Nice. Okay, Airbot, come on. You got three of them. It should, should show up. <laughs> the cop chopper goes back. War Lord of the Waste, I think we keep. Uh, probably throw it because you would need a, a cheap guy alongside. What it. about keeping Soul Drain? Yeah, I think Soul Drain's a decent key. Oh, shoot, we don't get anything good. Oh, well. All right, since we didn't get the bot, I say we go in front of my orbs so in case we do get the bot next turn, we could dash it. Okay, that's good. Oh, blue. Ooh. 
Where did this, well, look at his land play. What the Ooh, with, hell? With, a, with bad water elemental placement. Nice. I'm gonna get the fodder out there as soon as possible yeah. for collections. Sounds good. Hey, this guy's land placement, okay? Yeah, what's... What? I'm gonna ignore that and what? just collect. Why, why are there... What? What's happening? <laughs> Ooh, this is actually good. Oh, I can deal yeah. with it. So let's, yeah, let's firebomb that. Hell yeah, and we'll we, go here. If we, just, if we just move over, he gets to jump and make him aggressive lands. So we kill that. GG. Man, we're constructed here, dude. Yeah, jeez. What? What? It, what? I don't know why these people. This, oh, this but that's pretty. I'll make the yuck out of you. <laughs> that's pretty tough, but we have an answer for it. No, we don't. All right, so we're gonna have to ignore it, I guess. We're one okay, off from. Oh. So, uh, hmm. For here, we're gonna definitely do another yellow. Yeah, I'm just thinking if we want to do anything with the explore. Um, Put him in front of my face. We could. We could explore, uh, we could have the, ex yeah, we could have the explore, um, on our right hand well, and then we can build our desert up, and then we have that for, for the future. Alright, so I'm gonna put a yellow right here. Right next to the, up right here next to this ogre, and then we'll play the explorer there. No, we're gonna play the explorer over here. I'm, I'm, th I'm, thinking, I'm thinking explore on the right. By your well, and then we uh, can okay. right above it. And we'll put yellow right in front of the this other yellow. We're, we're not well. We're not. We don't want to build the land for him. Right? Okay. We'll so just, just uh, we'll do whatever, so you don't rope out. We're gonna do this. Let's do this. Oh, we don't have time. Oh, shoot, shoot. Ooh. Well, it shows wrath. wrath. Well, wrath's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it isn't. I hope he doesn't buff it. We got double collection, though. Yep. Big deal. Three, three color? Shoot. What's happening? We can deal with that, but... We can't deal okay. with the seven seven though. Um. Well, we we can if we use uh, soul drain and ciphers, which I think might be worth it because we can um, we can build another desert or mountain off to the side. Yeah. And then we'll be in um, quad collection. So soul drain first, then ciphers wrath. Do we play this or no? Uh, no. He's just gonna kill it. I, th I think it's fine. I think it's fine, probably. Really? Yeah. No matter where I play it, be be because like if he kills that, then he's not killing your three three in collection, right? So I could put it either spot. It doesn't really matter. But I kind of want to put it up here in the green. I'm I'm thinking um, dashing it onto the mountain that's closest to your orb so that you can't step across and build a land right there. On this mountain? Yeah. Because if, if they get a land between um, between your well and Oh, he goes face, up there? Why really would he go deal. there? Because he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh. He's a three-color deck. Because he could have... <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we should read Oh, see, now he misses collection. He could have collected and built that aggressive land there. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, I <laughs> guess he still kind of gets an aggressive land, but that's the... Ooh. I'm not really concerned about this. I'm going to get this in double collection. We need a draw. Yeah, let's draw. Ooh, we could deal with this. Is it worth it, though? Um... 
I think so because we're I mean we're quad collecting. <laughs> we can do whatever we can do whatever we want. Yeah, it's true. Let's get threats. He might have a buff. Let's just get rid of it. We can make inefficient plays to just yeah. maintain status quo. <laughs> Look at him, the way he's building his land, man. This is Is there any way for a grappling hook? No. We need to we need to draw. Yeah. Ooh. Ogre Adventure is good. We can, um... Go on to his yeah. green. Yeah, we can dash onto his green. And that sets up for a grappling hook, too. And it gets discounted. Well, he's more interested in face than collection. Okay. He's gonna end up getting killed. Ooh, Queen's guard What's happening? Bit. <laughs> All right, so unfortunately, Grappling Hood can't hit face and go in it. Well, we could go here maybe. Do I oh, do I move him up first? I could trade. No, we can't trade and Grappling Hook. What about the Queen? Um, I, I think you're fine just killing the uh, the three four right. Maybe you maybe you go to the left and then kill it. That you can possibly block that forest next turn. It's true, and I could double, I could neutral here, up here at this other well, and maybe here or something like that. I want to get the king's guard in an aggressive position, or no? So, if, so if we want king's guard to be a gra to be a grappling hook target, then All right. probably then we probably want it on one of our reds, right? Red. I think so. If I could put it next to the well, next to the 3-3, three, three, and hopefully he doesn't move the Bloodsinger, but he's probably going to move a land. So he's I'm not going to be able to... Get, so I could do it here. And then if he... Yeah, I, think, I think that's nice. Yeah, and we're going to... Plus. Oh. Yeah. No, that grappling hook's going to be free, dude. Okay. Ooh, I got the land. Oh, boar. He does not, he's not interested in double collecting. Or collecting extra fit. All right, we got a lot of stuff here, guys. Uh, obviously, this is going to collect. Yep. This is going to collect. Okay, so um, if we... So we probably want a grappling hook to just take the free kill on the singer, right? Yeah. Okay. Why is it that? Oh, I need another thing. So let's do another. Then we then we can place it. Uh, yeah. So we can, okay. So where do we want this? Um, mountain. You don't have any. Yeah, mountain. Where do we want it? Up here next to the three three, or between the ogre and the the. I think I think I like up. Next to the uh, the three three. We'll do this to kill the two. And then we can yeah we can hook get the free kill. We could go up and there then, too. Yeah, and then move up, and we can still get the discount at the end of our. Turn. And we could uh, put the hippo in an aggressive position. Let's see what's in the lamp. You want me to do the lamp? Yeah, let's see what's in the lamp. Uh, red. Uh, right? red. Ooh. Okay, yeah, let's trade and get the Cypher's Wrath. I see we put the Ogre in an aggressive that. position. Let's... Yeah, I like that. And, then and we don't have time for anything else. Chilling, yeah. Yeah, a lot to think about that turn. Yeah, it was. But we're, but we're in a good spot. He still has a shit ton of fairy. Ooh, he should... Well, that's going to be a lot of... Uh, we're not going to be able to deal with that. Oh, uh, no, that's GG, dude. Why would he no, buff that? No, we're, no, we're fine. We can All right, okay. so we go up here with the uh, Ogre. Yeah, let's see what we get from Barter first, because we might just get... We might get... Uh, oh, yeah. po oh, well, are we going to get yeah, that? Frog, frog if I win game. It's game over. And, um... 
Um. I say we we uh, kill the frog. Are we are we getting an aggressive mountain by his face to play the warlord? Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's let's do that. I say we kill the frog. No? Because we do need yeah, resources. Yeah, let's kill it. And it protects my bot. Ooh. Aggressive. Yeah. And we're going to chill. Yeah, he has a lot to deal with. Yeah. Now, this is a good deck, man. Yeah, it's insane. And actually, we got some... Some, um... Shaker, huh? Mm, that's... Pretty good. We could actually kill it though. Yeah. Kill it. Uh, here, let's see. This gives a friendly creature. Well, first we're gonna do. So right. we can we can trade. Um, we can. Let's see. So we can we can move up with our Drake Rider, right? And then Drake Rider attacks, and then we play Earth Fire Shaker, and it kills both. Oh the yeah. Players. And I think we do Earth Fire up there yeah. as well. Yeah, so are we building are we building the land right next to his face? Just dropping her fire. Perfect idea. That is That should absolutely be game. Oh shoot. Oh we tech yeah, we technically should have attacked with the warlord. Yeah, oh Jager, it, but... and uh, we didn't get punished, but still you're right, it was a misplay nonetheless. And then just for shits yeah. and giggles. We'll put that there. Okay. Yeah, there's no way he could deal with a board like that with so, why does he get so much Faria? Oh yeah, because Pandora's a little bit different. You, yeah, you get you get six per turn. But that's not enough, dude. It doesn't it even used protect. To, it used to be you got nice, nice win. It used to be that the wells would get destroyed, and, but you'd get six per turn. Ah. And that was annoying. That was annoying because then it was like, well, man, <laughs> now well control doesn't matter once Pandora opens. So oh, exactly I'm right. I'm right. glad they did kind of like the halfway change. You're right, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Should I queue up? I have to use the restroom real quick. Queue up or use the restroom first? Uh, probably queue up. All right. Hopefully, I won't get to pop real quick. I'll be right back. Nah, don't worry about the queue, I guess. Yeah. And you know, Firebond came pretty clutch early game that last match, dude. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's I don't know if it's a lack of confidence uh, in like the right play or something, but you see a lot of people in Pandora just go go face. Um, maybe the you know what it could be. They're new to the game, and it's a good way of getting collection going. So yeah. they don't know the basics. Yeah, that could be the case. 
But yeah, you can definitely, if you've got just solid fundamentals, you can farm people in Pandora. And by the way, Barter came in, in so clutch. Yeah, it's, it's an insane part of the flexibility. Frogify, dude, it was a perfect answer to that 714. I'm kind of surprised he buffed that other one. I guess he wanted to get rid of the 5-2. I guess that wasn't that bad. Ooh, look at this. So Chopper definitely goes. Airbot stays. What about keeping Lord of the Waste or no? Nah. I think, yeah, I don't think you keep it. Maybe you keep her co -copter? Ooh, Just this is even better. Because you already have a good play. Ooh, yeah, that's that's nice. So we're going to go f front of orb so we can dash the airbot to the opposite yeah. side. So probably mountain first. Yeah. Mm, hopefully already, we'll be able to deal with that. The desert so. guys closer to their wells. So he splits. Oh, he's going both sides. Okay. Ooh, how is he going to support that? Disciple's pretty weak in Pandora. Actually, that was a mistake. I should have gone other side. Eh, it'd be well, okay. well, yeah, let's, well, let's commit. And then we could summon that, but I don't think so. We'll do the Lord of the Wastes. Yeah, we can we can wait, right? Yeah. At least we're gonna get guaranteed double collection next turn. Yep, I'm gonna go AFK for a sec. Alright, no problem. Okay, I'm back. So here, I made another yellow. I could put down this. Or I could put down the Lord of the Waste and don't sacrifice. Too bad I can't get the Wind Soldier to kill that. Um, you can next turn. Yeah, I think we'll summon... You, you, might, just, you might just play um, uh, Windborn Emissary. Yeah, that's why we have some Collector next turn. Because if he steps in he steps down to kill the 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. You'll want to have a collector. Alright, he goes double neutral. And he made a mistake. He used that card on this instead of mine. He should have done that to keep that as a 3 attack. I don't know why he did that, but... Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, he did this. Why didn't he do it on mine? Okay, right, we're definitely going to put uh, this over here. and we'll. Ooh, we actually have soldier in so we could keep... All right, so this goes between the wells. We could kill this with the so soldier and get rid of one of these collectors. What do you think? Mm, yeah, I like it. We're going to do red here. Do red between the mountains or right here to block his progression. I think... Yeah, I think right there is good. Four, two in the desert. All right, so we're going to kill one of his frogs. And you can... Yeah, soul drain the 4-2, and then... You know what, though? We could do this. Oh, no, it's not going to make a difference because there's yellow here. I was trying to see if I could what? double collect. I'm thinking the um, the soul drain kills the 4-2. And then the wind soldier moves up and collects and kills the frog. Ah. Because it's got charge 3. Yeah, you're right. And we could put an aggressive and explorer. Then we, can, then we can put an aggressive neutral, exactly. Over here, right next to the frog. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna save the Lord of the Waste for now. Yeah, this is nice. 
We got total domination on this side. Yep. Yeah, that was a weird move by my opponent, but I guess he didn't understand the card. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. Ooh, he prevents double collection, which is good. If he's smart, he'll buff it. No, oh, ooh. Look at that, dude. All right, so I want double collection, and uh, we'll kill the 3-2. Yep, seems good. Uh, he blocks there, which is really good. What else? I think we should draw. Let's see. Um, I could play the Demon Wing. I kind of want to play something more. Ooh, we could do something aggressive over here, like the Lord of the, of the Waste, but uh, he'll just double trade. So we don't have to sacrifice. Yeah, you're right. Creature. I was just thinking, get rid of uh, these two. Maybe, yeah, let's... um. Yeah, I think I like an aggressive desert there, right? Do we and play we, anything or no? We just play, I think we just play Lord of the Waste there and, and don't sacrifice. And then maybe we play Demon Wing on our back desert. Right over here by the well. If we put it one back, then he has to build a land if he wants to kill with the frog. Yep, you're right. And then we still have the option to collect next turn. Well, you get last nightmare. No, he doesn't. See, that's why I wanted to sa- Oh, he's not gonna- Why would he do that? Yeah, that's weird. Why would he do that? Oh. Why would he put that over there? That's weird, dude. Cause now he's gonna take six damage. All right, let's. Can we, should we draw or put an aggressive red? No matter what, this is double collecting. I say we move up the yeah, demon let's, wing. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's draw. Yeah, I was about to say we could hit barter. <laughs> Ooh. That's game. Last Nightmare. Yeah. Oh, you're right, dude. Such a great, great card. And we're going to go over here this side. Block blue. This trades here. This moves up. Yeah. And uh, that's pretty G Dude, Barter's just amazing. I actually should have paid attention to the other events so I could play around it, but I didn't even see it. Alright, well, let's get Soul Drain, please. No. That's a good one, though. We go up. This goes up. No matter so what we... we what, I, what I'm thinking here, um, we can build uh, an aggressive mountain below our desert. And, and put then, the... And then we use the Ogre Adventure dash it onto the desert, and then we use it to block our 6-2. Ah, you're right. That way, again, more damage. Yep. And we get a disconnect, a dis discount too. Yep. The pro plays, man. <laughs> So he's going to go down and be irrelevant. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. It doesn't really matter for him, right? Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. He has another one? Oh, so these guys are making so many bad... Yep. Alright, so what do we have here? Dash and... Tr should we play him? Yeah, let's um, just dash our adventurer. On, on the blue. Do we want it on the blue or on the yep. probably blue? Ah, uh, what do you think he's gonna have more blue than yellow? I'm just thinking that so he can't um, body block next turn. I say blue. Yeah. And we can even play the fodder to put on there too. Might as well no. Fodder. Otherwise, we can fly. And then we're gonna plus one. 
All right, he has. I have lethal on board. He only has five Feria. He does have Frogify though, right? No, la he does have Last Nightmare, but that's not going to help him. Yeah. That's probably what's coming in right now. Oh no, maybe not. That doesn't do anything. BM, dude. Isn't it, isn't it great when you kill them before Pandora? <laughs> We're finishing all our wins, too. Nice. Two wins. Easy. Easy yeah, stuff. Too bad tonight. What's that? Hugh's not too bad tonight. <laughs> no, it's not. It's good. Well, we're two wins, so no matter what, we have a, this deck's at least a 50% win rate. Yep. Oh, actually, Hugh's really good. Hell yeah. It was like a minute or something? Yeah. Alright, Soldier Inn I think it's worth keeping. We definitely yeah. definitely get rid of the Warlord. What about keeping yeah. Demon Wing? Yeah, we keep Demon Wing. Ah, man. The dream, dude. The dream. Ooh. And we'll put a We'll put a desert in front of it so we could get the demon wing and we could just have him go up. So we could demon wing to the side. Or you prefer then... that? So because we we've we've got explore, so we could demon wing to the side. It put... And then the on the other on the following turn we could uh uh explore in front and then The red. Make and then make the mountain and then dash into double collect. We'd be have an early triple collect. Perfect. Good call. Jeez, my opponent's either AFK or... Well, that's great. You'll come back and we'll triple collection. <laughs> Alright, so definitely doing this. He wasn't expecting the queue to be so short. <laughs> that's, pro <laughs> that's probably what he went to the bathroom. He's like, what the hell? Because if he misses two turns, that's pretty... Oh, no, there. oh shit, he's aggressive. Okay. All right, so we're definitely do explore here, and then a mountain, yeah, and then dash into double, and then demon wing collects. So GG, dude. Yeah, seems good. Have you noticed a lot of people play aggressive in this game mode? Yeah. yeah I don't know what they're doing. He's like, oh shit, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe not. Well, see, again, this land placement, dude. What? What's happening? And why were we up there? Oh, I guess he wants to probably go over to kill the... That makes kind of sense. So, all right, so where are we going to put the next color? Uh... Um, I kind of want to keep the demon wing down here. There's no reason to put him up to die. I kind of so, want to get... I'm almost thinking we move the demon wing up because if it trades, then, I mean, we're still just, you know, triple collecting. <laughs> you know, so I think we play the emissary. I think we play our desert on the right and play an emissary, right? Good we're, call. At a we're at a resource advantage, so if he trades, we're, we're fine. Yeah. With that. And luckily, the bot will be out of range for a while. Yep. Oof, maybe not. But we do have a way of dealing with it. Um. Wow, okay. Hey, I'll is take. Happening? Is there any way for us to. Soldier, no. Wait, wait, wait. We could put a yellow here. To kill, uh, no. He can't fly. Why is it the wind soldier can't fly? 
I don't know. <laughs> it would probably be too OP, probably. Yeah, it would, it would be. All right, so I think we move the demon to the side to collect. Okay. We need to put more lands. Uh, another yellow? No, we need a red. No, So we could I kill think. one of these guys. We could kill two of them. We could do a desert either here or here. Boost up, go here, and kill the other taunt. I think I, think I like um, desert by your left hand well. Uh, because then we can win soldier from there in the future. And collect oh, okay. And take, and take a trade. And then we have to... We could, so we, we're probably just pl uh, trading with airbot and playing soldier in, right? And then our emissary moves... I think to the left. Yeah. This is a weird game. Yeah, Recycler's really... Okay, he's green. Finally he plays a color. Oh, that's a bulky creature too. Um... We need to start building reds. We could kill this to deny collections. Yeah, I like that. So we're building... Yeah, we're so we're building our mountain right above that desert. I do think we need to start... Now, do I put the mountain between the wells or above the yellow? The desert? Uh, probably above the... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we have to, to do this. Yeah, we have to. Collect, take trade. Um, we have to collect here, even though it dies. I think I think we're probably just playing um, uh, explore on our left desert, right? Just get into collection. Um, I say we collect here. Yeah, it's gonna die anyway. Yeah, so. there's no way I can prevent it from dying unless he's stupid. This we just keep. We can move this. Do I go in the middle? You think? I think. Yeah, yeah, I think middle's fine. That way I could contest this, and then this we could just hold on to. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Wow, he's got a lot of tempo here, but... If I could kill that somehow. Ooh, chopper's so oh. good. We could move this up and put red and kill this. Man, I wish we could. And explore here so we could collect, set this up for dual collection. Yeah, that seems good. Do we get rid of a a? I want that to more. And what about him moving him up? Oh, we could also put the hippo up here in aggressive matter. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think the five three hmm. goes maybe up. The five. Maybe the five three moves to the left so that we, if he summons something on that green, uh, we don't lose our collection. And what about the hippo? We can play the hippo on the right. Wait. I think we play the hippo on the right mountain. Right? Yeah, that way he could contest. Just kind of cor he's cornered now. Now we got board. We got potential double collections. Look at all these neutrals that could have been cards or feria. <laughs> yep. See, it's, it's a mistake that both you and I are guilty of sometimes, but to the extreme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so we might find out in a moment uh, if he has a reading comprehension for the bursting hippo effect. You're right. <laughs> Why would he do that? Enemies. 
Well, ooh, okay, that's, uh, I don't know if I like that. I guess it's okay. He wants to prevent me from double collecting, right? So this yeah. obviously goes here. I think we move this guy up. Yeah, and we probably do draw here. Ooh. This obviously has no choice. Yep, and then... Ooh, the airbot can go... We can, we can dash onto his forest. Oh yeah, you're right. And then, and then, and then play the emissary from the same spot. All right. So you mean dash um, the airbot onto dash, his... dash from the right? Yeah, from our right hand well onto his forest, right? Up here, and then go. But he can't kill it for free. With the, he can with the two two. We're fine with that. Oh okay. And then do we play the other, other emissary? We could just have him chill. Yeah, I, I think I think I would. Yeah. Play it over here. Yeah. We get some collections. All right, triple collection seems good. Oh yeah. We're starving our. This taunt's done nothing for him all game. Yep. Keeps running away. Uh, more double neutrals. <clears throat> Ooh, okay, that's kind of a good move. Now he gets that free trade. He moves that to protect. This could actually go... Let's see what we get here. Ooh, does that help? Yes, it does. Grappling hook. I could grappling hook this there. Or grappling hook the 5-3 to kill this 2-3. Yeah, that's that's probably the play because we can grappling hook the five three, get the free kill, and then move on to his forest, yep. and then we get an aggressive land. This goes. I think this just goes straight up. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna double and collect. Then, yeah, and then our three two kills the one one right. Yeah, and, and then, then he has, and then he has no creatures left, and it's just gonna yeah. Let's just get rid of all that, and then I think we draw here. Um, where could we put so. aggressive I land? I don't, think, I don't think we draw because then if we hit the shard, uh, Pandora opens on his turn, and he this gets to do his haymaker first. Yeah, double neutral. That way we get both lands guaranteed. Yep, seems good. Yeah, he has a lot coming in. Yeah, the three two was a good idea. I was going to be a little bit greedy and get double collection, but we don't need that extra one for you. Yeah. This gets us five damage just next turn, so... Pretty good. Hmm, what is he plus one for? Oh, now he plus ones. <laughs> I know. Now that, now that he can't build land, now he plus ones. Oh, that's not going to... Do much. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna ignore it. Unless I have a way of dealing with it, but I probably don't. Okay. So if Pandora opens on our turn here, we're just the game is. Super. Ooh. Right, let's, let's use that let's first, see what's no? In the box. Yeah. What's in the box? Seek shelter. Is nice. It's wild, so we can play it on one of those neutrals. Ooh. Nothing's great, but... I guess... We we could we could take Tarim, because when Pandora opens, we're going to be getting six... We're going to be getting six a turn, more because of our collectors. You're right. Alright, so this is obviously going face. Do I kill his collector? I, I think I'd... Yeah, I think I'd move your 3-1 up and then trade with the 5-1. Yeah, because I don't want him having any way buffing... Collect, and I think we plus one. Yeah, we're just maintaining the the status quo here. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna five, put the hippo. Five, move up. I'm gonna go to the left so I can go up. Yeah, seems good. And plus one. And it's pretty yeah, much just, GG, I think. Yeah, we just maintain the status quo. Right here. Ooh, we got the lamp too. 
He could control one of my minions, but... And it looks like he's targeted in the 5-5. Five five. So the, the ruby treasure is what's good here? The one mana deal three to all. See, now why did he put... to block? Because now he's taking all this damage. Uh, you want to do the in, treasure? What's in, Yeah, what's in the lamp? We're going to do red. We could take... Okay. I was about to say, we could we could take yellow just for Ooh, the... Oh, this uh, might be lethal, dude. Yeah, Potentially. Let's, let's, yeah, let's let her rip. All I need is two hits. Oh, and there we go. Lethal no, was, off the top. And it clears his board. Uh, wasn't enough health on the board. It was guaranteed. Nice. Easy. Easy, easy. Man, I should maybe play more Pandora more often. Yeah, it's, it's fun for a change of pace. Oh, it is. Here, I'm going to go get some water real quick. I'll be right, right back. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, do you want to uh, do some verses now? Sure. Well, even thinking, though we're doing you, a really good you, win rate, we'll just yeah. do this later. Yeah. I was just thinking, did you uh, advertise this at all in the fairy discord? Oh, here, let me do that real quick. Let me do this real quick. I always forget that. All right. All right, so let's do Vite to Lobby. So we're going to do three best out of three for now. Okay. Sounds good. Do we do timer or no? Uh, Whichever you want to do. Well, what about deck format? What do you want? Uh, let's do Crucible. All right, so... <laughs> Yeah, let's use bank just for practice. Okay. Hey, that link, that series you told me, I showed you that... Uh, Switch a reveal, but they have not done any progression on that game. Yeah, it's uh, probably... Uh, I, well, I read an article basically saying that the, the team is working with uh, Unreal Engine 4, which they haven't worked with before. Oh. So it's probably just like growing pains for the game. So I'm sure they're still in development. development. It's just taking longer because the whole team's got to learn... You know, new software, basically. <clears throat> it's expensive to change over uh, to a new game engine, right? Um, that's why Bethesda has been lazy for the last 10 years, because they don't want to. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. 
Did you, did you get the invite? I did not. Weird. Well, let me go back. Let me try again. All right. <clears throat> Uh, there's a little blue light that pops up in my friends list when it's uh, when Weird. an invite sent. I just sent it again. Unless it's bugged. Uh, here. Um, leave and I'll I'll see if I can get it. All right. Yeah. Oh, there you see that came up real quick for me. Yeah. Yeah, you should be able to invite before, like, figuring out the format or anything like that. Uh, so you wanted best of three? Yeah. Okay. And we'll do Crucible. Uh, you want 90 seconds per turn. That's good. Do you want Do you want the eight minutes per game or nah? Mm. Nah, that's cool. <clears throat> okay. Alright, I'll leave that off then. There we go. Let's choose. Let's roast your first deck. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that might not work. Well, let me know. Oh, I took him. Okay. Nice. Uh... Okay. Your deck selected? Yeah. Okay, why are we not in game yet then? <laughs> That's weird. Maybe it's bugged. That sucks. Uh, here, I'll, I'll click start over and uh, resubmit. Actually, I kind of made a mistake. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ban, ban, ban. Alrighty. Guy Whale. Oh, what's that third deck? Huh. Hmm. You have two full green decks. Incrucible. I, yeah, I didn't know why I did that. No, I'm just wondering how that is <laughs> possible. That works. I know, right? <laughs> it means they're very different decks, huh? Hmm. I'm assuming that's a r red burn deck, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. Ooh. Interesting. Mono versus mono. Yep. Alright. I haven't played this deck yet. It's so let's see if I can do decent at it. Alright, sounds good. You go to the opposite side, interesting. Hmm. 
Ah, ramping up. Oh no, he had an answer to it. All right, so you're way ahead, man. Way ahead. Yeah, if you see a few neutrals in an otherwise mono deck, it's, it's a good it, chance it's like horse riders or emperors. Yep. Yeah. Those can do a lot of decks. Ooh, actually, this Seek is... Seek Shelter, okay. Has some interesting choices here. Actually, I think the other was a little bit better. I'm kind of thing I think the other choice might have been a little bit better. But I couldn't bypass the chance of ramping. Yeah. The other choice was a dream keeper and I could have cycled and got a chance of puffing the 1-1. One, one. By drawing an event. Yeah, that could be good. That's why I took the ramp, because I get to play that before you do. Ooh, yikes. 510, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, you're because you didn't have that force, you couldn't uh Okay. Obviously that's going face. Um I don't want you collecting. That way, I could try to protect the 510. I don't know if you, you have buffs. Well, you can't really get to the... 
your other trees lead to get the corrupt effect. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know if I played that right. I could have had other options too. Uh, Grove Guardians making things awkward. Yeah, because I do get some favorable trades on your 5-9, but you're not going to sacrifice it. Oh, okay, that's... But look at how you have to treat so much into it. Yep, it's awkward. Hmm. That kind of sucks because now I can't... Kind of like what you had to do. What? Okay. It prevents... Well, you couldn't get corrupt anyways. But... I want to put her down just in case you have some other sh shenanigans that come up. I was going to put her on the prairies, but then you would have killed her for free and that wouldn't have been good. Yeah. And what's good is it prevents you from buffing that up because then you're just going to f waste your an event. Of course, you could put it up there next to your orb and give extra turns, but... Mm. Yeah. I don't think that's good. Hold on one second. I have to let my dog out. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, what do you do, a boar? Okay, I don't really have an answer for that. Both of them are kind of bad. Let's see if we can. Man, this is so bad. Let's see if we can. Yeah, man, these unfavorable trades are so bad. Okay. All just to prevent you from getting corrupt. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, here's the combo. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty GG. Oh man, there's no way I could deal with that at all. Yeah, but you can dart over and just kill it. Yeah, that's pretty GG. I mean, I could just keep putting stuff out, but it's going to be very difficult to kill it. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Where's the voice of truth now? Just keep getting life and everything is uh, sucks. Unfortunately, I don't have enough fairy to do what I really wanted to do, but nah, see, that's just going to be threat after threat. You're going to, ooh, we could do, no, nah, that's not going to work. I was tempted to put an, another big threat out, but problem is you're just going to keep growing. You see, if I had enough fairy, I could have prevented your dude from doing his thing. Yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't have enough. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's all she wrote. Yeah, actually, you got that 7 health, so it really, really sucks. Because what I wanted to do was put this bad boy right here to prevent your movement, but I didn't have enough fairy. I got an ogre battler in hand. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, yeah, I could pop out threat, but you're going to kill the ogre battler for free. Yep. Your 12-7 seven, seven, your lives, so yeah, it would be down to 1 health, but that's mm, still not going to do much. There's no way for me to get back into this, I don't think. We could kill one of your guys, but that's it. And then if I put the if I put the ogre or the golem back down there, that's what I was debating last turn. Uh on whether or not to um Put another failing go the golem out there, but you would have been able to kill it. But nah. so that's the problem. Every threat you have, so you got lucky though, man. If it didn't get any other minion, that you probably wouldn't be able to do the combo very well. Well, that's the um, that's what makes the combo so strong, right? Is um, priest of ever life 
buffs the next minion I draw, right? So if I play that in the same turn that I corrupt with the bull, then yeah, I, so I double I double dip on the buff on yeah. whichever card I draw. So even if I drew like a like a tiki caretaker, it would have been giant. <laughs> the only thing is I could have had a chance with the ogre battler if I had enough faria, because then it, you wouldn't have been able to move, and then yeah, you wouldn't have be able to handle the. the But, I mean, it's not over, but I'm not going to be able to get Faria now. Um. No, you're not going to trade into that. No, not, not right away, anyhow. Probably could have played that a little different. Oh shit, I forgot. I was gonna pop it over to get damage, but I forgot the stupid divine. Yeah. Oh, you can't do anything. The other, the other one you gotta watch out for is, uh,. Uh, what's it called? Deepwood Stalker? Yeah. yeah you, you can't target divine stuff with Deepwood Stalker. Yeah, I couldn't put anything up. Damn it, otherwise I, I totally forgot abilities doesn't work on it. How is a misplay, but at least I got another collector. But it makes it awkward, because you're not going to tr- You don't want to get rid of your 13-8. Nope. You, you'd have to hit into to get rid of the shield. So that's kind of nice, but at the same time, you kind of have to deal with the big threat that's looming, right? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure you have buffs. Uh, we'll probably just play this. Yeah, that's so GG. Yeah, that's GG. There's no way I can get back into this now. I can still put threats, but there's just no way I could deal with your board. <laughs> Presence, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's an 8 8, but. Anyways. Yeah, there's no way I could get back into it. I just cannot value you, and you're just gonna. Every threat I put on the board is just gonna be dealt with. Yeah, Doherty is pretty insane if you can get it rolling. Yeah. GG. Yeah, it was a good game. But yeah, I see every threat. That's why I was relentless. Like, if I keep putting this shit out, it's just going to die. Yeah. All right, so let's okay, do... Okay, so I got to go green again. I don't know what's a good counter to green. Okay. Blue, most likely. I forgot what's in this deck, though. I don't know if it... I don't think it... I don't even know if it runs Rock Frogify. Yeah, time to find out. <laughs> the deck tracker doesn't work anymore either. That sucks. Yeah. That, that. All right. That was a good game, though. Yeah. Does that deck win a lot? It's kind of slow, right? It's um, it's it's fairly good. You definitely surprise people with the teleports. People don't have uh, a lot of people don't have practice against mono green. Ah. Uh. I don't know if that was a good play. I think I should have gone a little bit more. We'll see. Five six will be able to contest a lot of your early game. Hmm. 
Okay. Oof, that's so nice. See, the problem is that I can't just give you something to corrupt, which sucks, but I can do that. Oh, I should do that. Okay. What's going on here? Shenanigans are afoot. Ooh. Because okay. now you can't get the corrupt effect. Well, you could have Force Master, but I don't think you run it. Now you have to deal with this. Now you. Are you going to double trade? Or are you going to let it sit? I was going to do something else, but I think it would have been too easy for you to deal with. So this is, this is more difficult. I'm thinking about just killing it. Ah oh, man, you and your Emperor Kavaz, damn. Yeah, I figured when I saw the six legs, it's like, okay, he's getting ready to play Shosen or Dream Reaver or, or something. <laughs> I love this deck. I gotta learn how to master it, though. Is it decent? Um, I haven't played a lot of blue decks like that. Well, or blue decks in general. So I really couldn't say. I would ask, like, Loser Lizard or Duke or someone. And you know, we could do some streams where I watch you, and some streams you watch me on the ladder. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, that sounds fun. But I do think with this deck, you do advance on one side and just ramp, ramp, and just contest and stuff like that. Yeah. Because I don't think splitting would have been a good idea. Ah, you get the corrupt effect. Yeah, it's not worth a whole lot here, though. I do get to collect though, which is nice. Oh, it's kind of like last game when I traded three creatures into one of yours. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Yeah, that's true. Let me look at what we're gonna do. I have no easy answer for any of this. Hold on, let me... I don't have the fairy at all. I'm 
so smart, I astound myself. Unfortunately, you can kill my Dream Reaver, but. Yep, but at what cost? I'll take that trade every day of the week, man. Yep. Okay. Your favorite. Yikes. Come on. I prevent I you from gonna, I was gonna corrupt. <laughs> prevent you from corruption? You still have to get in a double collector though, so that's an issue. I figure blue's the best counter to your deck. But man, this is a lot of fun though. I, I like this better than ladder, man, because I mean ladder's not bad, but I always thought terminate this is what they thought artifact would they thought that the Richard Garfield thought that player tournament modes and having weekly tournaments, daily tournaments among themselves was going to carry artifact, but it didn't. Yeah, no, it did not. <laughs> because there was no official ladder, so he figured, hey, because just like Magic, he's like thinking people are going to meet up in in the store and uh, not quite yeah. the same. Unfortunately, you can't collect, but. Let me look at here. Well, this can't go, and we're going to have to do that, unfortunately. That was good for you. Ooh, actually, that was a misplay. That was a big, big misplay, because I just realized something. You see, I wasn't looking at one card in my hand. That was a misplay, but that's fine. Let's do this. Welcome to my realm. That was a misplay. Yeah, you have, to, you have to be winning the game to deal with chaos. Yeah. That was such a misplay on my f part because I would technically, well, not guarantee, but it potentially could have lethal this turn. Yeah. Damn it. Slow down, Tim. I always forget. Because <laughs> I have, um, I don't want to reveal my hand, but I'll tell you after if I win or not. But chaos, though. Oh, see? That's bad. Okay. Ooh. That's why I missed Yikes. lethal. And uh, we're putting homegirl right. Yeah, I missed lethal in a way because I should have played it differently. See, no matter what you're going to do. Does it really matter where I put it? Hmm. That's annoying. Yep, I missed lethal by not doing that sunken tower. And I realized after I did the play. Yeah. Damn it. Damn, Leia's so annoying. <laughs> well, not only that, because you, you could zip him around, but for what? Because she's going to kill him. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't have drawn. I should have made a land there because I can kill the whale and, and get my creature back and it blocks yeah. my... Uh, uh, yeah, I fucked up. Ah, oh, man.
Damn, Shows and Moby are too cheap. Do we really need, hold on, let me look at this, my hand here. That's just gonna make it so much harder for you to deal with. Welcome to my realm. I could totally ignore and go face. Um, that's an option, but I don't want you to have that guy around either, so we're going to do the right play, and, uh, God, as much as I hate this. But the problem is that taunts there, so I'm never going to be able to get face. Yeah. Yeah, you probably wanted to move on to the neutral and trade. Yeah. Duh, what an at dumbass. See? Dumbass move. Oh, well. Uh, I think I'm totally screwed, though. Because yeah, you're going to lose your two. Yeah, that was a bad. I don't know why I did that. To come to think of it, I should have gone to your neutral, so yep, yeah, you're right. Sloppy plays, sloppy plays. But I did the right move, nonetheless, minus the placement. Killing your. Your dude was very important. Oh, that's pretty GG though. Hope so. Uh, let's so see annoying. what we could do to block. We do ah. uh, let's see what else we can do here. Come on, too much cheat. Well, the good thing is your dude's away one more turn. Hmm. But your deck's pretty fun, dude. Yeah, I like it. But the combo with the Emperor's tough to deal with. Yeah, it really is. Of course, my placement might not be the best. My poor radiance. Shell of its former self. So true. And uh, we're going to move this over here. Not that it really... I have to put it in a subpar area because I can't do it where the thing is, just in case you have some shenanigans. I mean, you yeah, might be I able wish, to have I wish I had shenanigans. Huh? I said I wish I had shenanigans. I dealt with your Radiant pretty decently. I like Emperor Dex because he just sits back and he does his job. Yep. Okay, what am I gonna? Ah, oh, man. I had some bad misplays though, like the placement of the shat of uh, the uh, the shadows. She, sh I should have done it on yours. You're right. Because then I could have summoned more stuff to put pressure. Man, I gotta make the whip play.
This is so tragic. <laughs> Man, I lose both my collectors. This is just so... This is just so... Ah, oh, the problem is... I can't put it in a good position because I don't have the Feria. But... We're doing it. Oof. Because now you're going to start losing lands. I stayed in that game too long. Hey, it was a good game, though, man. Yeah, GG. So I have to stick with blue? Yep. That was a tough game. I I, I could have put Bayou, Beiru on the other side, actually. Left-hand slide and gone up, but... I just want to get close to your orb. Fair yeah, that enough. shadow... That's, that stupid taunt in that bad area was bad. Alright, gonna have to punish your greed now. <laughs> yeah, this, this is gonna be the yourself. perfect perfect counter. Alright, so let's get rid of that. That I guess is okay. Alright, I gotta keep it. Okay, we got kind of an okay start. Kinda. Interesting. Oh, damn. Well, that's good. Yeah, I don't want you to do kind of easy removal with it. Okay, this should hopefully be game. Ah, oh, damn. That's so good. Red punishes blue, man. Yeah, red punishes greed. <laughs> man, that's not good. Yeah, it's pretty much GG. Let's I can't deal with your board. Yeah, I got all the ramp I can want, but... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just hope that sticks, but I'm just on... Yeah, I'm out of... I have no collectors. It's pretty much done. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That yep. wasn't, wasn't much of a... Gr yeah, red's just too powerful, man. Good stuff. Yeah, six, six land cost deck, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I meant, uh, on that note, I'm going to have to go because I have to get up kind of... Not too early, but i got to get up in a little... We're a little earlier than normal, so... Hey, man, right. we had about two... Almost three hour stream. Not too bad. We had some yeah. lurkers. They didn't say much, but it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah man. good games. Oh, yeah, they were great. And then we'll continue that Pandora run soon. Sounds good. Take right, it man. easy, man. Thanks.